Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be talking about Stranger Things Season 3. A lot of you guys might have known Stranger Things 3 came out on July 4th. It's the third season in a show. Basically it's about the 1980s when a bunch of kids get together. And there's just a lot of paranormal activity going on in a town called Hawkins. So the third season just came out on July 4th and it's inspired me to go shoot a photo that I've seen all over Instagram and that's a Mind Flare composite. So today I'm going to try to shoot Mind Flare composite I'm going to try to show you guys how to edit a little bit and just bring you guys along the journey. So we'll start getting going in 3, 2, 1. Okay so right now I'm just going to try to go over most of the gear I'm going to be bringing today so yeah. So we have here this lens, it's a 35F14. We have the Sony A7 II that we're going to shoot on. And we have this newer flash that we're going to be using to try to flash a red light. Okay, so right now I'm on the way to one of my friend's house. His name is Kyle, and he's going to be helping out with our shoot. So, yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, so we've arrived at Kyle's house, except the thing is Kyle always says my videos are uh, boring, so right now we're gonna just try to scare him when he comes out. See what happens, let's see the reaction. Okay, right, so right now Kyle's filming, we just picked him up. And uh, we're gonna be going to Rutgers, probably because at Rutgers there's this large field that it's kind of empty and there's a building behind. So it's gonna be pretty easy for us to just simulate like a large open expanse like in Stranger Things where uh, where the, the mind flare comes out to sort of like attack. And uh, I'm not dressed as you can tell in like the, in, like, the 80s style, but that's not the purpose of today's video. We're more trying to just recreate the type of composite that the uh, Stranger Things guys did. And we're not we're not really trying to make it like accurate to like the uh, time period. But that's okay. Okay, so we've arrived at Rutgers and right now so you can see say hi Kyle. Hey, what's up? We're just holding a like a whole bunch of crap. And <laughs> yeah, the, the field's a little bit away. We'll be walking towards there. And uh, we're gonna have to test out this concept a few times because I'm not entirely sure of like what I'm looking for, but I, ha I have the general idea. So we'll, we'll stay posted. All right, so uh, I'm gonna come here just, just for some better lighting. So I'm gonna show you our setup very, very quickly. It's not, it's not complete yet, but over here we have this light that we're going to be using to just pull focus better and uh, our tripod and uh, I'm going to be standing somewhere down there with that building in the background. Right now Kyle's talking about how uh, you can actually buy a Lamborghini, <laughs> not, not a Lamborghini, just a shell for $4,000. And this is what we're doing instead of- uh, Better not make it into a vlog. This is what we're doing instead of actually filming our Stranger Things, uh, not filming, shooting our Stranger Things uh, video. See, this is how unproductive we get when we actually try to shoot stuff. This is why when Kyle and I go to New York, it takes 15 hours just to find a place to eat. Uh, but what you should do is watch my vlogs. Subscribe to my channel, uh, Kyle Choi. He'll leave a link in the bi uh, description below. Subscribe. We've actually done a lot of work together, so I will actually leave a link to his videos, and yeah. Okay, so I'm learning new stuff all the time, apparently. This on here is a, is a bounce. And that there is diffusion for your flash. I didn't even know, I didn't even know I had that, but uh, thanks to Kyle here. So here, we're gonna set up this uh, this flash here, 
and then we're gonna put a we're gonna put a red uh, filter onto it, and then uh, over here we have our camera on the tripod already with the uh, 35 on it. So you can see here, this is the 35. I'm gonna be standing somewhere in between there, and then basically the red from the uh, from the flash should help to illuminate my front side, so that it's easier to Photoshop. So yeah. I guess Kyle's working with a new tripod, so Mance has no idea how to work it right now. So this this is what's taking us so long. If this yeah, vlog takes a like $20 tripod. if this vlog takes a year to come out, it's because Kyle can't operate this tripod. I can't operate your cheap ass tripod. <laughs> it, it is cheap. It's just twenty dollars. I turn back around this way. If he flashes it now, I'd be blind, but I hope not. So we're about to take our first uh, sample photo. Kyle here is uh, operating the camera. Okay, so we can't really do any of this stuff uh, the, the nice professional way, right? But right now we're doing anything we can to get the shot. So we're just propping this up onto the gimbal case. That way the flash hits me more than it hits the grass. Because right now, I'll go over and show you guys what the what the photo looks like right now. Yo, bring your bag over. So you, you see here, the, the flash hits me really well, but it also hits the grass a lot. So that's why that's why we're tilting the flash up slightly more to uh, so that we're gonna be able to to have it hit just me and not the grass. Okay, wait, wait, Kyle, can you go to the uh, the silhouette one we have? So that's what our silhouette one is gonna look like and then we're gonna we're gonna take a long exposure so that we can uh, we can replace the background so it'll be brighter that way the uh, the flay will show the flare will show up a little bit more in the background okay guys so we just finished uh, filming this stranger thing style shot featuring the mind flayer and uh, it was a relatively technically difficult shot just to shoot by itself and uh, if all goes well I'm gonna put it on the screen here. But anyways, it was uh, it was nice filming this vlog for you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.